Carissa and I have a cute little Valentine's card for you today and the reason you're seeing it beforehand um, already made is because I actually filmed this video earlier and I got a new camera for Christmas and filmed this video and realized that my video editing software does not support the file type that my new camera uses. So, this is the second time filming this video. It's a super simple card. I'm going to use the I Heart Hearts stamp set from Stampin' Up! and I have the clear mount version. I'm just going to use this little wood grain heart down here. And like I said, it's super fast and simple to put together. I'm going to pull my wood grain stamp over here and I'm going to open my chocolate chip ink pad. Now this is how I prefer to do my background stamping. I just like to ink up my stamp with um, the rubber side up. And then what I'll do is take my brown chocolate chip piece of paper and just lay it right on there. And then I just take a scratch piece of paper, cover it up, and just rub all over. And that way I get <clears throat> excuse me, good even coverage all over my paper because I can just rub it down on there. So I'll show you that. So there's my wood grain background. This paper, by the way, is cut at 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 1 eighth, and it's going to layer on top of this piece of Melon Mambo, which is cut at 4 by 5 and 1 quarter. Now you'll notice that this is just an, an eighth of an inch difference. Normally my layers are, you know, a quarter of an inch, but um, on this one I just wanted a hint of that pink poking out from behind. So I just went with the 1 8 difference. So it just gives you that real um, tiny line of pink hanging out there. And so I'll just go ahead and mount this layer here. Just get it straight. Come on. Okay. Good enough. And then what I can do is go ahead and put my red ribbon on here. This is the new satin ribbon from Stampin' Up. How I'm going to do this, because I don't really want um, a knot or anything, so I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back, and I'll just wrap this. And then wh why I'd, I don't do both sides at one time, because I like to make sure that it's straight on the front. So once I make sure that I have it going straight on the front, um, I'll put my adhesive down. Sorry, I know that was a little confusing. I'll put my adhesive down and then once I make sure I have it going straight across the front of the card, I will put the other side down. If I can get it to go. Okay. There we go. So there's that part done. Now my next step is to take a scratch piece of Melon Mambo cardstock and my Melon Mambo ink. And I'm just going to stamp this wood grain heart stamp right on here and then cut it out. I know for someone who doesn't like to do a whole lot of cutting, I've been doing it a lot lately. So even though I don't like to do it, it, it gives it a really nice touch to the card. So I'll just go around the edge with my scissors, leaving just a hint of that um, paper around the edge. And then I'll adhere it to my card. Okay, so I have my heart all cut out, and I went ahead and put my dimensional adhesive on the back to save some time. And what I'll do is just peel these off, maybe, if they'll cooperate. Come on now. All right. And then I'm going to put this kind of at this angle right here. Now, I want this to be on there and just kind of overlap. This is um, the new epoxy, Sending Love Epoxy Brads, and this is the real red version. It's a little red polka dot, and it has polka dots, and then they also have one in that same pack that's um, all white here and then has the little red heart in the center. And what I'm going to do in order to punch my hole is use my crop -a -dile. And so I'm just going to get it in there like right up next to that heart. It's like I said, I want it to overlap the heart. So the hole is kind of messy. I don't know if you can see that, but that's okay because the brad is going to cover it. And so I want that brad just to kind of, like I said, overlap the heart. So what I'll do is rather than try to like really push it down on there, I'm going to let it have a little slack, you know, here 
so that it can overlap that heart that's on the dimensional. And then what the last step to do is just to take this whole thing and mount it right there on the craft cardstock. Go ahead and do that really quickly. Um, like I said, this is a super fast and easy Valentine's card to put together and there's no message on it, but this is the perfect card to stamp a sentiment inside. And so that's a great option for you. And it's kind of masculine looking. Well, maybe not the pink heart, but it is Valentine's Day. You can't get away from using pink and red on Valentine's Day, right? So there it is. There's my quick and simple Valentine's Day card. I hope you enjoy it and have a wonderful day. Oh, wait, before I go, I did want to show you one thing. From this I Heart Heart stamp set, if you have the heart punch that was available, I don't know, it's just the old Stampin' Up! heart punch, right? These are how the hearts fit on that. So let me zoom in for you. I just stamped some and then I punched them out using my heart. So this is the regular heart punch right here. And then these are how some of the hearts fit on there. So they're not really, this is actually the best fit, this friend heart. Um, these do fit, these others, but they're kind of wonky on there. But it works. I mean, this one works well too. So I just kind of wanted to show you that for your curiosity's sake in case you were wondering. So that's kind of some of the other hearts and how they fit on that heart punch. And so this was the actual closest one. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you again soon with some birthday cards because I have some birthdays coming up in January. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm.